Good morning, my revolutionary people. My name is Nicole Graves, and this is my series, My Story, Naturally Healing Asperger's, Autism, Autoimmune, and Cancer. Today is number five, and we are going to do detox baths. So it's not always about all the things that you take in. A lot of it is the things you do, like walking or bathing, like skincare, like bathhouses and skincare and like cleansing yourself used to be like a form of health care. And I think in our modern age, we forget about that. You got to think about like if, if you've never been to a Korean bathhouse, you need to go. They're amazing. It's all about just resetting your whole system. And your skin is a detox organ. It's second to your liver. Your liver is your first detox organ. Your skin is your next one. So if you can help your skin out, you can help your liver out. It's like it goes hand in hand. So I don't think we really think about taking a shower or bathing as a way to aid our body in health. And we should. Like instead of using all these like chemically products and so forth. So first is clean water. You definitely need clean water. Um, you need a water filter. I'm not exactly sure how you do that for a bath. I know I had a shower filter and I just shower the water into the bathtub. It doesn't get as hot though or stay as hot because all the air that it goes through, but you know, you do what you can. <laughs> I'm sure they have filters that you can get for your whole house, but yeah, tap water is dirty. So you definitely need a filter. Or, and or, and or is what I would do is I would throw some binders in there, like throw some baking soda or some diatomaceous earth, food grade, and then that'll absorb some of the toxins that are in the water, and that really helps. So detox baths is all about putting good stuff into the water that's going to help your body operate at a more function or optimal level, basically what it is. Epsom salt. Epsom salt is like number one because magnesium helps your body detox. I have tried magnesium flakes and I do like those as well, but there's something about the Epsom salts. I don't know what it is, but Epsom salts and add some magnesium flakes. That's cool. Um, you can add essential oils, coconut oil. My favorite is a little bit of apple cider vinegar. It doesn't need to be the expensive kind. You can buy the cheap kind in the big jug. Apple cider vinegar, um, coconut oil, Epsom salt, maybe a few magnesium flakes, and baking soda. That's my favorite. Throw in some di diatomaceous earth if you don't have a good um, water filter. Or just do it anyway because it makes your skin really soft. I love that stuff too. It helps with collagen production. We'll talk about that soon too. The diatomaceous earth, I love that. We'll do a whole video on it. And then so basically, yeah, you just got to... You can put, throw anything into a bath and just make it better and just lay there and like relax and breathe, maybe listen to a podcast, maybe drink some hot tea. Health is all about multitasking. Like the more things you can do at the same time to make your body feel better, the better you'll feel. And it's all about just like soothing your nervous system. Life is about soothing your nervous system. And the more you get used to soothing your own nervous system and self-soothing, the better human you are and the less reactive you are and the less stuck in your sympathetic nervous response or what is it? Something like that. Your sympathetic nervous system. That's what it is. Because you want to be in parasympathetic. You want to be chill. You want to digest and rest. So that's what it's pretty much what life is all about. It's just calming down and detoxing. You just got to get that shit out of your body and chill out. I know it sounds oversimplified, but that is what life is about. It's just about being healthy and breathing and being. You just have to be. Life is just about being. Okay, so detox baths. They're awesome. I'd say 30 minutes to an hour. I'd sometimes do an hour and a half, but the water gets cold. But you can let some out and put some more in. You know, do the tricks. And you can add almost anything. There's no right or wrong. Just try some stuff and see what works for you. All right, my revolutionary people. I love y'all. We'll talk again soon.